hello everyone so in this tutorial i'll be showing you how to start j unit testing so for the setup and uh, the installation part i will be using netbeans and uh, i'll show you from the start uh, how to set up your project for j unit testing any additional libraries you need to include and any uh, additional plugins that we need for code coverage so first thing first we'll begin with the setup uh, so first of all uh, you need to set up your uh, NetBeans project for JDK 1.8 environment because the code coverage works on that. So, uh, and we also need a plugin uh, for uh, installing the code coverage. So, first of all, we will go to tools and go to plugins. Now, uh, my plugin manager is working, but you will probably notice that uh, at, at your side nothing shows up here. This is because of the uh, and that means configuration settings so you need to go to plugins and move to settings and then you'll see these three options here if you see any other options you can remove them okay so we just need these three options certified plugins that means distribution and plugin folder so you need to move or uh, make sure that they are all checked and then you need to move over and then click the edit button and then you don't need to change uh, or do anything to the name because it will stay the same then you need to make sure that these both options are checked and uh, i'll post a file uh, in this in the description and you need to update the urls uh, one by one for uh, each uh, of these uh, certif uh, configurations so after you do this you need to move over to the proxy settings and make sure that no proxy is selected because that interferes with uh, uh, connecting to the NetBeans configuration URL. So after that, you have to restart your NetBeans and move over to available plugins and click check for newest. And then it will uh, check for updates in the Net, uh, NetBeans distribution and get all the latest plugins. So after you have done this, you need to search for uh, Tiki or you can search for coverage here now uh, there are two uh, plugins one is Cobertura, but we don't need to use this uh, uh, in our uh, in this video so I already installed this plugin so it will be uh, shown in here for you and then you need to just click uh, here and then click install and I'm showing you for this, but you have to install the uh, Java Tiki Java Coco test coverage. So uh, it will be uh, simple to install. You just have to click next and next and then accept the argument and then click install. It will be installed in your NetBeans. So by the way, if you get any problems during the installation, you will be needing to uh, add your uh, NetBeans in the firewall because it interferes sometimes with the installation. So now we'll begin with setting up our project. So you need to go to file, click new project, and then go to Java on and then create new Java application. So you can name this uh, application anything. So uh, when the Netflix, uh, sorry, NetBeans creates the application. So uh, I have a sample code here. So it's basically a simple function that will uh, return a grade of a student based on their marks. So you need to make sure that there is no function in the uh, uh, normal class, no main function. Okay. So I'll just paste this function here and then you need to right click this file, go to tools and click this option, create update tests. So when I click this option, it will automatically create a testing file uh, for this class. So as you can see that we have a testing file which will be moved over to the uh, test packages. So you will get some of these errors uh, because uh, there is uh, the libraries of these uh, unit testing are not included. So I'll share a link in the description and uh, then you will have to install those libraries. Uh, so basically this is the URL. I'll just show you how to download the library uh, You will need to open this URL and click on this button download JUnit 4.12 and once it 
uh, it's downloaded there will be a RAR file uh, like this jar files then you have to right click it when uh, you need to make sure that you have been RAR okay then you need to click extract here or extract to jar files then there will be these two uh, jar files in this folder then you need to go to tools and then libraries and now you need to make a new library uh, you can set any name as you want just to make it remember that uh, it is a JUnit library so you can so don't forget later so we name it JUnit I already added this so I'll name it something else JUnit new so now you need to add both of these jars into this library click add jar uh, go to the extraction folder I checked it in somewhere here and select both of these uh, jar files now click add jar folder once you click ok your library will be created so you need to move over to the libraries uh, uh, test libraries and right click test add library and then search the library that you just created here and I already added this library so that's why it uh, is giving me any errors so now you need to remove all these functions because we don't need them uh, we basically need only this function with uh, at the redo test and uh, we need to remove this uh, default code <coughs> now I already uh, had made uh, some of the test cases so th this is basically a function of a test case which will check uh, if the entered grade uh, is uh, returned properly so uh, this is giving the package error so make sure that the package is same as your class file so I'm just copying the name of the class and, uh, and now uh, you have to click properties and then you will see that your JTK version is 17 or 19 here okay so the, uh, the unit test runs without any problem uh, in this version so there won't be any problems uh, for the unit test but for running the code coverage plugin we will face some problems and I will uh, uh, give you solutions for it later so you need to make sure that you have both of these imports in your code this is uh, I'll also give them in the description so now you can run this test by clicking shift or F6 or you can right click and run the file <coughs> and I'll basically reset the windows because it's not showing the output so uh, this is the test result which has passed so for example if I enter an invalid input here I'm entering 10 and it should output uh, uh, an F grade so it will be a failed test because uh, it expected something else so this is how unit testing works now for code coverage uh, you basically uh, need the plugin that we just added so when you right click and run with uh, jcoco but uh, this won't work because jcoco only works with jdk 1.8 so we need to downgrade our NetBeans so for that uh, you need to go to this URL I'll give it in the description so you need to go to Windows and uh, select download the exe file of your installer so you basically have to sign up on this site uh, uh, before downloading uh, so it's basically easy you need to sign up and then click download and it will be installed so after that you will need to uh, run this exe file so for example uh, it, it will be like this you need to run this exe file and I already installed this version so it's uh, giving me an error but you can uh, it's, you have to install this JDK version so once you install this the default path, uh, path of the JDK will be in C Java uh, sorry C program files Java and uh, as you can see I already have JDK 19 
and this is JDK 1.8, the default path for uh, JDK 1.8. So I need to copy this path and now I need to configure it in the NetBeans. So I will close NetBeans and then I will uh, uh, I need to go to NetBeans directory uh, which is in C which is the default directory uh, Net C uh, or you can just open it from here open file location right click and open file location so it's uh, in C NetBeans 14 NetBeans and uh, in this folder you need to go to etc and there will be a config file of NetBeans so you need to open this with notepad or anything else so you will see here that uh, the JDK home is currently set to JDK 19 so we need to change it to the folder of uh, JDK 1.8 you need to save this config file and then restart your NetBeans so once your NetBeans is open your uh, default JDK will be changed to uh, JDK 1.8 because we set the home path folder of JDK 1.8 so now you need to uh, go to uh, this app right click this application go to properties and uh, you need to set its uh, default to JDK 1.8 as well so it, if it gives any error you can just resolve problems and then select uh, uh, the JDK 1.8 version or oh, uh, oh, sorry you need to uh, downgrade it to uh, JDK 1.8 and then click close so you need to make sure that your test file is running fine so as you can see that is fine I could just correct the test case uh, so it gives a pass now we will generate a coverage report for our test case so you need to right click your Java application and click uh, this option test with J uh, JCoco uh, jco coverage so you don't need to click run with because it will an output an error of uh, main method because there's in there's isn't any main method in our uh, java application so we need to run the testing file so that's why we click right click and test with jco coverage so uh, as you can see that it generated a report and our code coverage is uh, almost eight percent uh, as we did not add many of the test cases so as you can see that uh, it shows uh, this test case was tested uh, but all of these test cases were missing so uh, this is how uh, you generate a test coverage report and you can also check a report of Jayco here so I'll show you uh, once uh, I made uh, some of the test cases here so I'll copy these test cases into this file and now when I click uh, okay there was a change so I'm just replacing the class name uh, because the class name here was different so now when I click uh, test with Jayco coverage so as you can see my coverage increased to 94% because uh, I covered almost all of the use cases uh, so the 4% is basically just the error of the public class name it's related to maybe declaration or something so all of these test cases uh, were checked and the code coverage uh, is a 94% so that's it in this tutorial uh, we learned how to uh, J unit test uh, for Java and uh, how to set up the NetBeans project. Uh, in the next video, we will learn how to write properly light, uh, write the test cases and uh, check them through the code coverage. Thank you.